Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Listen, I know what you want, okay? And I get it, I get it. You want my big, juicy meat. Bruh. And, you know, I can provide it for you. It's very simple. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy my meat. Okay, so, what are we going to make? We're gonna make a delicious, delicious mushroom sauce with red wine sauce at its base. So, as you can see, we got here the wine. The wine. And I got here a few bouquets nope. to put in. Um, we got celery, carrots, onions, cilantro, uh, laurel leaves and some rosemary so right now the first thing we're going to do we are going to add our wine how do you open it okay so how much wine exactly do you need do we need simple we're going to add some just two shots of wine okay Yeah, as I said, two shots of wine. Hey yo, what the fuck? It depends on which type of person, okay? No judging over here. And right now we're gonna add probably half this bottle of water. Okay, seems good. Let's add this. Yeah, we probably don't need this anymore. <laughs> Just add everything. Mm -hmm. And now we're also gonna add some all spicy cloves. Got some cloves. All spice. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, so you're probably wondering, John cooks, how long does it have to cook? Well, it's very simple. You can just set it up, go to sleep. No, nigga. Stay, uh, let it stay up all night cooking. And when you wake up, put out the fire. What? Make sure you have house insurance. Of course. Of course. What the fuck? And, but for us, while we're waiting, we're gonna sing. You run out of town like a fool and you think that it's groovy. These are you're meeting other guys, you're telling me lies, you don't give nothing to me. You gave me a smile all the while, do you think you excite me? Stop it. Get some help. But don't you know you're turning me on? I know that it's wrong, but I can't stop the pain inside. Stop singing. Remember what happened to grandma last time you sang? I, I still miss her. Back to the video. Okay, guys, I have over 60 years of cooking experience. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I know I'm 24 years old, but hey, I was cooking shit up in the womb. You know what I mean? So peeling potatoes and cutting, I can do them light speed. You ready? You don't believe me? Okay. See, just like that, and it's over. Okay, guys, in order to cut something, you don't have to be afraid of the knife. The knife is an extension of your body. Every great chef can cut without looking. And me, being the best of them all, can also do it. As you can see, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll cut everything like it's nothing. And guys, it's just that simple. Put trust into your knife. 
because nothing bad can ever. What the? F okay, so now that we drain our sauce, we're just gonna add a corn slurry that you can simply make by making um, cornstarch and water, and we're gonna add it to the sauce. And I forgot to grab my shirt. Yeah. Add to the sauce to make it thick. We like them thick. Hey, 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 hey! Behave. Mm. <coughs> okay, guys. Now that the potatoes have been cooked, we gotta mash them, right? But to be honest, my, my arms are feeling a bit weak today, so I'm gonna let the assistance of the love of my life, ladies and gentlemen, Lisandra. Lisandra here has been with me for about five years now, and I, I proposed to her once, but she rejected me. But that's not the point. Lisandra, red hot, fiery Lisandra, right now, is gonna do the work for us. Before we um, start letting it mash the potato, we're gonna add some butter to make it really rich. We're feeling a bit American today, so we want to raise our cholesterol up, up, and we let it mash. So now that it's been beating up pretty nicely, actually, we're gonna add some evaporated creamy Creamy, creamy milk. Maybe more than a few tablespoons. And that'll be. Lissandra is the love of my life. She does everything. Guys, if your potatoes aren't this creamy and rich, I want you to dislike the video, unsubscribe, Okay, bye. Turn the notification off too, because I don't want you here if you don't like your potatoes like this. Look at this. Oh. Mm. I didn't season it yet, but still. Mm. Now we're just gonna add some salt and pepper. Okay, now. The main event, my meat. Yeah, I know. Not to be ashamed of, you know. It's about the quality of the meat. It's not about the size, you know. That's that. That's what I tell myself every night, you know. Anyway, so we're gonna season it with kosher salt, and uh, kosher salt is great for seasoning meat because it's not too strong. So. The chances of you over salting your meat is very low and pepper. Guys, when seasoning these types of meat, it's best to go simple. Just salt and pepper. If if you put Worcestershire, f you. If you put soy sauce, go f yourself. Just leave it like this. Okay, now we'll set our meat into a nice hot cast iron filled with oil. Oh. Ah, uh, that's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And we'll just give it about two to three minutes.
Okay, I can't wait to get a mouthful of meat. Probably not the first time you heard of that. So I'm gonna grab a piece of the meat, but we have to combine it with a piece. Oh, look at how creamy that is. Okay, let's try it out. Oh. Okay, so as you can see, I ascended beyond human limitation because that meat was so juicy, delicious, crusty on the outside, and the mashed potato was creamy. Don't forget about the sauce. So if you enjoyed the episode, please like, subscribe, turn on notification, please. I need it. And I'll see you next time.